African storytelling traditions date back many generations and have taken many, many forms. Whether it be folklore told around burning fire under the moonlight, or as we have today through our television screens, connecting millions of viewers to tales of heroes and adventures. Long before Nollywood exploded and African stories spread across the globe, a generation grew up on the gripping stories we watch on the Nigerian Television Authority. Neighborhoods and families gathered around the television faithfully to watch Cockrow at Dawn, Mirror in the Sun, New Masquerade, Samanja, Second Chance, Things Fall Apart, Magaji Family, Behind the Clouds, and many, many others. Characters that became household names, stars were created, we laughed, we cried, we were entertained. Above all, we learned about our cultures and we embrace, embrace the stories of our heritage. Tonight, I'm proud to join all of us here as we celebrate one great man at the center of that storytelling tradition on NTA that will eventually birth Nollywood as we know it today. A pioneer of outstanding television production and premium homegrown storytelling, Peter Igo is the brains behind several credit roles of the golden era of Nigerian television in the 90s. A masterful stakeholder in the TV industry for over 30 years, his journey began with a love for stories and films during his school days. This led to a career in writing dramas, his first venture being a student play that earned him wide acclaim in Joss Plateau State. A feat that brought him opportunities to showcase his talent at the Nigerian Television Authority in Sokoto. Making much of a degree in English, Peter Ego's 1978 brainchild, Moment of Truth, marked the start of a long list of acclaimed works he created for Nigerian Television Authority. This included Nigeria's first nationally televised drama series, Cockro at Dawn. The television icon was also responsible for adapting several regional productions for national viewing, such as Samanja from the North, The Village Headmaster from the West, The New Masquerade from the East, as well as Mirror in the Sun from Lagos. An innovative visionary, Pizza Igo also spearheaded the transition of production from analog to digital at the NTA. Revered by Nollywood greats, Peter Igo was the driving force behind acclaimed productions that launched the careers of many icons in the industry, including Peter Doce's breakout masterpiece, Things Fall Apart. It's not surprising that well-deserving commendations come rolling in from his contemporaries in the arts. Chief Pete Aigo is one person that I would call Mr. Solution. First, Mr. First. You see, with the star in NTA then, when we have problems with our production one way or the other, the first person will ask you, have you seen Baba? And once you've seen Baba, there's always a solution. He has contributed in no small measure to the motion picture practice in this country. After a robust 33-year career, his devotion to the craft that has become his life remains absolute. Inspiring generations after him, Peter Igo carries the torch for several youth empowerment projects, such as the Nigeria of My Dream project, which he is a patron of. Carrying his legacy, his son, acclaimed filmmaker Tosin Igo, attests to his indelible influence. I remember growing up at home with cameras in the house, seeing the stuff. Um, I, I used to, whenever they went out, I used to steal the camera, switch it on, and shoot some random stuff even when I was very young. Uh, shoot myself, sing music, shoot, shoot shots, combination of stuff. And when he found that I was messing with his equipment, he encouraged me. It wasn't a case of stop, leave that. It was okay, ah, you're actually, how did you learn how to operate this? Okay, and every time I'm writing a story, I send it to him, I get some feedback. The biggest thing that he has said to me is that what you should do is whenever you go and do a production, whenever you make a mistake on set, remember what you did that was wrong. And also remember what you did that was good so you can grow from that step. And I think that has helped me a lot. If he's going to see me say this, I can say, Daddy, Peter Ingo, I thank you. You have helped me and I'm grateful. There's nothing else that you can do for me that you have not already done. For his innovative spirit, decades of commitment and unmatchable flair in his craft, the Africa Magic Viewers' Choice Award 7 is proud to honor Pizza Ego tonight with the Industry Merit Award. 
seven years of the AMPCA, this is the first time that father and son are winning in the same night. Will he ever make it? Will he ever hear the sound of the cock crow at dawn? This is really a big surprise. How they manage this without my knowledge, I cannot tell, but I'm happy to be here. It's one thing we always say in the African tradition that you want to grow, but you want to see your children grow bigger. I'm happy to say that I'm alive to see my son and other children grow bigger than we did. The other time I got a Lifetime Achievement Award, I dedicated it to my family, my wife and children, because half the time, people see only the glamour. They do not see the pains, the tears that you use, that you spend while you are entertaining people that your family at home suffers. But I'm glad to say that my family has been there all the time and supported me everywhere I've gone. The NTA family, the Nigerian television family, sorry, analog to digital, they asked me to bring, I was, analog, and my son, digital. So there are two of us lecturing in every hall. And that really inspired me and him a long way. I want to thank all Nigerians. And I want to say thank you to um, uh, MultiChoice and uh, Africa Magic for this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. But most importantly, I want to say that I'm happy that all of you who are here, who are making waves, have done so not too much with government support. But thank God government has come in now. Continue to keep that dream going. Don't let anything deter you. If there's one industry that has supported and made Nigeria proud anywhere in the world today is the broadcast and movie industry. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful for this award.